Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Detroit Pistons rebuild with the number 5 overall pick. Originally, this Pistons team was projected to have number 1 overall. Today, we now know that they do not. So, looking at this team, they got Cade. Uh, Killian Hayes at the point, and Corey Joseph's going to be a free agent. He's going to walk. They got Jaden Ivey, Alec Burks at the two. Um, I think we'll pick up the team option on Burks. Probably not RJ Hampton, though. Got Bogdanovich, and then the backup three is up for grabs. We got Marvin Bagley, Isaiah Stewart, and then we got Jalen Dern, and I think I'm going to trade James Wiseman here. Uh, Wiseman or Bagley? I, I don't know. We'll see. Um... But Bagley's got two more years left on his deal, so it's probably going to be Bagley. First order of business. Actually, let's let's see what we can get for either of these guys. Okay, so perfect. We're going to dump Marvin Bagley onto the Rockets for Jay Sean Tate in a first, as long as there's not a better offer here. Okay, so we're going to pick up Jay Sean Tate and an unprotected first-round pick in 2026 from Brooklyn. And now we will let this play out. Victor Wobanyama, the number one overall player. Brandon Miller and it goes number two. Scoot Henderson at three. Cameron Whitmore at four. Crap, that's who I was going to take. Amin Thompson's here. Jarace Walker or Taylor Hendricks, I feel like we could get later on. But you know what? I'm going to take, take Jarace and move him to the three. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So what's our next pick? 42. No, we're not going to trade this. Who can we get here? Dylan Mitchell, Jordan Walsh. Derek Lively would be interesting. But I think this guy plays for Whipping Yama's team. We're going to go Dylan Mitchell. Just try and develop him a little bit. You know, he's got good potential for a potential, you know, wing type player. So Wimby, number one, Miller, two. Henderson three. Cam Whitmore, that was a guy I wanted there at four. But we get Jarace Walker. We're going to move him to the small four position probably. Um, although we did just we did just trade Bagley, so maybe we play we keep him at the four. Um, we're going to bring in Dylan Mitchell as well, send him to the G League. Team player options. So Cade, Wiseman, Stewart. No brainer. We're bringing him back. Burks. Burks we're going to let walk. Um, we'll bring back Killian Hayes. We'll bring back RJ Hampton. We'll bring it. All right, we'll bring all those guys back except for Alec Burks. I mean, that's eleven million dollars, and we're not giving Jared Roden a qualifying offer. Do we have any cap space? Yeah, we got a little bit. So we try to go after Chris Stops. He accepts another offer, renouncing the rights on almost all these guys except for Hamadou Diallo. Chris uh, Stops goes to the Jazz. Chris Middleton still here. Kuz is here. Uh, could bring Jeremy Grant back. We're gonna throw this at Cameron Johnson and see if he wants to come in. So we're gonna we're gonna sign him, and the Nets are they gonna match our offer? They didn't. Okay, so cool. We get Cam Johnson on the squad. So now we're looking at Cade and Killian, Jaden, RJ, Bogdanovich, Cam Johnson, Jay Sean Tate. Cam Johnson, we can move to the two. And then Isaiah Stewart, Jarrace Walker. Okay, so is there any backup point guards we can go get? Bring in Russ. He was 25 mil. That is wild. So I did go get Jonathan Isaac as well. And that's going to be it for... Oh, wait, one more. I also got Seth Curry. There we go. Um, Bruce Brown's there too? I can't do that. So we got... We signed a, go a good bunch of free agents. Um, we'll go up to player progression where Cade is an 89 Jaden Ivey in 84, Duran in 82, Wiseman in 82, Cam Johnson in 80, Bogdanovich is, he's starting to fall off. So honestly, after adding Johnson and Isaac and uh, Jay Sean Tate, I think we're going to trade Bogdanovich. Um, Killian Hayes goes up to Seth Curry, starts to decline, so maybe that was kind of a wasted signing. But we'll go to the next season. So we're going to do this trade here with Bojan Bogdanovich for Evan Fournier. Um, just picking up another unprotected first round pick that we can use in the future. And then let's set the rotation for the year. So looking at this, how we're going to do it is we're going to move Cam Johnson to the two, um, which does lower his overall a bit, but I think that's the best way to make this team fit together right now. So let's take a look at the coach's game plan here. So here is the lineup for year one, KJ, Navi, Jonathan, Isaac, uh, Jarace Walker, Jalen Duran. A lot of J's and James Wiseman. 
and Jay Sean Tate. Holy cow. Uh, so we're going to go up to the deadline. I don't really see us making any moves, um, but we'll see. So, yeah, we're 34 and 23. Not really a reason to make a change right here. Let's uh, take a look at the stats here. All star duo. 90 overall Cade, 86 overall Jaden Ivy already. Cade also 7. They also combined for about 13 assists, which is what you love to see. Uh, and only only about 4 turnovers. So that's nice. Jalen Duran having a big time year. Okay. Jarese Walker having a nice rookie year. I'd love to see that. A steal on a block to go with 13.5 and, and 6. Wiseman, 10.4, 6.3. Cam Johnson. And then Jay Sean Tate, Jonathan Isaac playing really good defense. Two steals and over a block a game to go with seven boards, seven points. Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes. This team, uh, I like this team a lot. You know, you got the, the balanced mix of all the wings in the world, which works in real life, and then all the centers in the world, which works in 2K. So a, ni a nice balance there between those two. So we finished the year on like a six-game losing streak, but with... Uh, 47 wins. Scoot actually wins Sixth Man of the Year in Portland. Uh, Tyler Hero averaged 31. Holy cow. Quinn Snyder is the Coach of the Year in Atlanta. I guess they had a big year. And two seed. So let's uh, simulate the play-in. We are the five seed. Oh boy, we got to play Jimmy Butler and company. And Tyler Hero, who's averaging 31 a game. They also have Plum Dog. Um, Nikola Jovic developing a little bit for them. So, they don't have Lowry. I think this is a winnable game. I mean, you look at, uh, look at our squad that we got. Okay, Jaden Ivey, Jonathan Isaac, Jarese Walker, Jalen Duran, Cam Johnson, James Wiseman. I mean, I think this is a good squad. Let's see, though. We'll simulate game one. We lose. We'll simulate game two. We win. We still won in South Beach. And, oh, they still won in the Motor City. We take the game five, though. Oh, it's going to seven. And we win in seven. What a first series for us. Now we got Garland, Mitchell, Okoro, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, and the Cleveland Cavaliers, which is like a super team in this game. But we still game one and game two in Cleveland. Are you kidding me? So much for a super team. And we're in the Eastern Conference Finals. Going up against the Hawks with Trey, DeJounte, Murray, DeAndre, Hunter, Sadiq, Bay, Clint Capella. And we steal game one, but uh-oh. Okay, that's a big win in game four. But we lose game five. It's going to seven. And we lose in seven. Ah, So close to the NBA Finals in year one. But that's all right, because this team is only going to develop and get better. Let's go to the lottery, see if we got any picks. Does not look like it, and we will be picking at 23. So here we are at 23. I, be I believe this is Baba Miller out of University of Ohio State. Oh, Xavier Booker's here. He's like the number one recruit in this class or something, going to Michigan State. So we'll take him. Nice little power forward. And then we'll take, take this guy. He's a draft and stash. We love us some draft and stashes. Ron Holland goes number one. How good was Xavier Booker? 75 overall. So that's big. That, that is very big. Um, and this guy at 71, J.J. Starks, you're going to have to walk. Team player options, Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, Jay Sean Tate we're going to pick up. And then, yeah, Evan 48, goodbye. Dylan Mitchell will bring back as well. Jalen Brown accepts another offer, but we're getting Kawhi Leonard in Motor City. James Wiseman's going to have to walk. He's going to be a victim. So is Killian Hayes. We're getting Kawhi. He's, he's 33. Can he stay healthy is the question. So now we have Cade at the 1, Jaden Ivey, Cam Johnson at the 2, three small forwards, Jarace and Xavier Booker at the 4, and then Jalen Duran at the 5. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we need a backup point guard and a backup center. So we're bringing in George Brooks out of the G League. All right, here we go. We're trading Mitchell for first round picks. And then we're going to bring in Jose Alvarado. 
So this will be the squad. Now, actually, I'll show you in a second. We'll go to player progression. So we did lose a few young guys, but we bring in Kawhi Leonard. We make a splash. He's dropping down a little bit. He's getting old, but it's all right. Cade, Kawhi, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran. Nobody progressed? Come on now. So here is going to be the rotation for the year. We got Xavier Booker, but he's not getting any minutes his rookie year. Um, unfortunate. But we're going to simulate up to the deadline and see how good we are. We might try to make another big splash, but I don't know. Kawhi is getting older. That's what worries me. But we're going to simulate up to about the midseason mark. So we're here up at the deadline, 35 and 19. Not really anything I think I'm going to change. Um, looking at the player stats on the year, Kate having a slightly worse year. Durant, golly, the monster. Ivy up to 19 a game. Kawhi only averaging 14, 4.5, and 4.5, and and which is interesting. Um, Drace Walker, 13.5. He's not progressing at all like I wish he would. Jason Tate, 10. Cam Johnson, 10. And then, you know, the elite defense from Jonathan Isaac. Um, George Brooks, 4.3 points. You'd love to see that. So we're going to simulate out um, and see how high we can get in the standing. So at the end of the year, Killian Hayes wins most improved player. For the Brooklyn Nets. Um, but we had a good year. Nobody on the LNBA teams are crazy. But we do end up as the two seed. So we're going to be playing the Nets. Oh, almost got to play uh, Killian Hayes in a revenge series. But almost 390s. Um, Jarese Walker's just not developing, man. Jalen Duran and then a good bench. Um, definitely a better team than last year. But we'll see. Uh, we're going to simulate through this game. We lose game one. Oh, boy. But we got to give the big dogs the big minutes. It works a little bit. We still won on the road. Oh, and we get eliminated in round one by the Philadelphia 76ers. The Cavs win the championship. Come on. We have the 29th pick. Pick Dylan Harper. Duke, I guess. And then we'll just simulate it out. That's that's in Cade, we gotta give the qualifying too, so we gotta give him an extension now. Ah uh, got 15 million in cap, but he's 34. He's only going down in value. What can we get? Miles Bridges and Tyus Jones. Jamal Murray? Pick up Alonzo Ball. Uh so we're going to do this trade for Zach Levine, also giving up Cam Johnson and getting back Luke Kennard in return. Um, Zach Levine should go up in overall while Kawhi goes down. So here is Cade's in 94. Okay, Zach Levine in 87. Duran in 83. Isaac in 81. DeRace is in 80. George Brooks, 78. Xavier Booker doesn't go up at all. That's, that's unfortunate. Uh, I think he's actually going to get some PT this year. So here's what the lineup looks like. 94 Cade, 88 Jaden Ivey, 87 Zach Levine. Um, so let's uh, let's simulate up to the deadline and see what we can do. 40 and 17 here at the deadline. What's uh, what's what's everything looking like? Jaden Ivey actually our leading scorer. Zach Levine, or excuse me, Cade Cunningham also with 23 and 10. And then Zach Levine about 18. Duran 16 and 11. Drace Walker 14. Xavier Booker having a nice little year. Um, George Brooks as well. Jonathan Isaac. All right, that's good. Let's uh, let's go up to the playoffs, and hopefully we don't get upset this year. Maybe we're the one seed, though, because uh, it's, it's looking like we have a really, really good record. Shea is the MVP. Um, we still don't have anybody. Oh, Dwayne Casey wins Coach of the Year. We almost won 60 games. And Cade finally makes an all-NBA team. He's a monster. We're the one seed. Let's see. Can we not get upset this year? This is what the squad's looking like. Jalen Duran progressing very nicely now. Uh, George Brooks even up to an 81. Xavier Booker almost an 80. Dylan Harper still still not that great. He hasn't got any PT though. Uh, so we're playing Toronto. They have Leet since the ball. Scotty, yeah, we should beat this team. Kawhi is back in Toronto. Uh, but we're just going to simulate through the round. Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Is it the coach? What, what's going on here? Why can't we win a first-round playoff game as a top-two seed in the NBA? Oh, we have a lottery pick. 
Okay, that's big. That pick we traded for from Brooklyn is the 10th pick in the draft. We're going to try and package that with something and bring in another big guy. The Sixers are selling. Here's the offer we got for him. Pick 10, pick 16, two future first, and Dylan Harper for Joel Embiid. Not happening. What if we throw another first in there? See, everybody else here is expired. So we could throw... No, we can't even throw... We can't throw anybody in. Um, we give you our 2029 first. Yeah, Joel Embiid's not looking like he's going to be a sixer. So we're going to try to send the same package to the Jazz for Chris Stops, who has a little bit less trade value. Oh, it worked! Okay, so we bring in... We now have... All right, this team better win a championship. <laughs> Are we going to be able to retain everybody is the question. Seriously, Cade? We just brought in Porzingis. Oh, my gosh. Why does everybody want to leave anytime I do a rebuild? LeBron's here. I, mean, I guess we could go try and... No, we can't. That just completely destroys... Any momentum we had going. So we're going to do this straight swap here with the Heat. Levine for Hero. And that gives us enough money to give Anthony Simons an offer. So maybe he will want to become a Detroit Piston. And he does. Okay, that's huge. Oh, never mind. We can't even... Ah! Failure of an offseason right here. <laughs> huge failure. So even without... Okay, Jaden Ivey's ready to take the team over. We got Porzingis, Hero, Duran, and Jarese Walker. Xavier Booker's up to an 81. Uh, this is uh, this is not good for the last year of the rebuild. Let's see what can happen here, though. So it's going to be a tight rotation this year. Um, we don't have a backup point guard, so we might actually go to free agency. So we're going to bring Brevin Wallace in, and he's going to play about 10 minutes a game for us off the bench. Um, probably won't play too much in the playoffs. Though. So there we go. That's the rotation. And let's uh, let's sim up to the deadline. Actually, we're just going to go all the way through because this is make or break year. We'll see what happens. So we hit the 60 win mark here in year four. I don't see any of our guys winning any awards. Dwayne Casey, though, is the coach of the year. Jaden Ivey, all league third team. Once again, we're the one seed. Can we finally make... A run here. It's been since year one that we've made that we haven't made a run. Um, Brevin Wallace, you were good and all, but we got to give our stars their minutes. Going up against this Knicks team, they're actually really good. They might be better than us. They take one in Detroit. We take one in New York, though. We go up three one, close it out in five. We finally won a playoff series. Now we got the Nets. Uh oh, Killian Hayes revenge time. This team's worse than the team we just beat. And Killian Hayes is no longer a net. Um, they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. Huge. Can we, wait, this is a huge one. And we win it. Close them out, baby. Let's go. Now we got the Cavs. A team that denied us our chance to win uh, our first ever NBA or our first Western Eastern Conference Finals in this video, goodness. Um, but we win game one and game two. They win game three and game four. Oh, my gosh. The Cavs once again. Well, I mean, that <laughs> that's it. That that was my last try. Um, losing Cade Hurt, if we keep Cade around, I mean, if he just accepts the contract we offered him, then we're probably winning a championship. But, you know. It is what it is. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it at any point, please make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, it will help us out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video.